all right let's make a video while we are heading to the cameras come back here or here oh i see the camera is that way which means if i want to do what i need to do you know what whatever we're going to the gym and on the way we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff but the first thing that we're going to talk about is the fact that in 2020 about three years ago i got into a car accident it wasn't really like a major car accident but it was enough for me to doubt my ability to ever drive again like ever and so now i'm trying to make this video here i'm not trying i'm actually making this video because i've been thinking a lot about the things that we think we'll never be able to do and how those things will end up doing them again in the future and just the idea of how resilient human beings really are and how much we don't give ourselves credit for the things that we can do personally for example I have noticed that there are many instances where I don't give myself enough credit for my ability to change and grow and learn which makes it a lot harder for me to appreciate my own capacity for adaptation and I want to address that because we don't think so much about how much we can learn and grow and change in like a year compared to what we can do in like 10 years we undermine our abilities we undermine our growth we undermine our capacity for change and just overall human capacity to learn and grow and change so talk about a car accident right that was three years ago here i am driving i'm going to the gym because i noticed very recently that when i feel good about myself by going to the gym i make better decisions i've been having a shitty series of days and i could almost pinpoint my inability to make good decisions directly to not going to the gym for the past three days and so i decided you know what kamga one go to the gym two film a video of yourself driving which is something that you haven't done in a long time right now i don't even know how loud this is what are you able to hear me in any way but one thing that i know is that three years ago two years ago i would not be able to do what i'm doing right now I'll be able to talk and to be able to film a video while i'm driving to wherever i'm going to i would freak out I would panic. In fact, even if it was somebody else in the car with me driving, I would not be able to actually have a conversation while I was driving with this person. But here I am doing that. And this is just a testament to the idea that it's possible to change, it's possible to learn, it's possible to grow. It's possible that when bad things happen, you still find a way to overcome them. And I say this for myself, really, because I still find myself in these places sometimes where I look at the things that I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to change for myself, like my inability to do certain things, my procrastination, my laziness. I don't call it my, it's more like, I know what I'm supposed to do and I don't do it. And I cannot figure out exactly why I don't do it. I know the answer for it is just to take action. Like there's no mind hack. There's no mindset shift that I need to change. Like, oh, I need to figure out exactly methodology to do for what I just simply need to go ahead and do the work I know I have to do it so for me driving and talking about this going to the gym right now is part of the process of looking at the small things that I can change that would improve my odds of being successful overall so I'm not trying to like change my life overnight anymore I'm just trying to do what I need to do right now on a regular basis and one of those things includes going to the gym and another thing that i haven't done and i'm trying to do now is just create more content man i feel like i'm not creating a lot i'm not creating as much as i could create i'm not creating the kind of content that i could create i have all the gear that i need all the equipment that i need i have all the t i don't say all the time but i have a lot more than i could be doing and if this thing is not recording right now i'll be so pissed <laughs> I have a lot more that I could be doing that I'm not doing. So this is, I think what I'm going to try to do now is actually do like this stream of consciousness, independent chat, where I just basically talk about whatever. And then, but yeah, accident, 
taking action. Those are the two things about this. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. With my content, with my ideas, a lot of what I'm going through right now is not very clear how I should go about it. But I know that if I don't start somewhere, I'm not going to get it done. So start somewhere, start wherever you are, do whatever you need to do to get there. Because I keep thinking of the idea that life is short. And I know it's because I had a loss very recently that changed my perspective on time. But I also know that I've been thinking about these things for a long time as well. Like just generally speaking, I think about death and stoicism and just is this person trying to move in? Like just the idea that one day this life is going to end. And I'm not going to be here. And I want to make sure that I do everything that I need to do. Everything that is within my power to do while I'm here. So that I don't have to have any regrets when on my deathbed. Basically, I want to be able to face death and be like, I did everything that I could and I'm okay with it. I did all that I could and I'm fine with it. And that's, that's the way I want to die. I want to not be surprised by it. And even if I am surprised by it, I'll be like, you know what? It's okay. It's part of the process, it's part of what was expected, and uh, I'm good. That's how I want to die. And so yeah, I'm looking at making sure that that's the way that I, I go, which includes taking action on a daily basis on the small things that I can take action on. One of them is going to the gym, one of them is making more content. And when it comes to making more content, it's already seven minutes. <laughs> I think I'm just talking. When it comes to making more content, I feel like a lot of my decisions and my actions, I keep overwhelming myself because I have too many ideas. I have too many things that I could do. So instead of starting with the smallest, the least, I actually have a word for this. I've been working on this system for myself, which is something I'm hoping to share with the world soon enough once I figure it out. It's like the least, um, I don't know how to even call it, the least whatever thing. yeah anyway that's a video I'm going to the gym it's saturday so everybody is like in traffic or something I'm trying to head to the mall so the gym is at the mall and everybody is trying to go on the mall right now because it's saturday and it's like the only day that people are free to do anything so yeah and to get there work out oh i registered for a race i registered for a race in um Oh man, it's going to stop in front of me. I can feel it. Yep, and he did. <laughs> well, there's one car in front of me. It's just me. But yeah, I don't think I've ever filmed a video like this. So I I want to start doing something new every day, something different every day, something that I haven't done before, whether it's talking to somebody, trying something new. So for me, this is my, my task for the day. Make something that you haven't done before. So I've done it. I was really hoping to make this video get to the gym and just end it, but it looks like I'm going to end it before I get to the gym. Either way, thank you for watching. Share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you in the next one.